in one afternoon, I found an additional $500 in my budget. Hey guys, it's Bex here, and I am here with my very good friend, Danny J from dannyj.com, because I am revealing a big secret to you guys that I have been wanting to share with you for a long time. I'm probably talking really fast because I want to get it over with as soon as possible. But first, I will welcome Danny. Welcome, Danny. Hey, girl. I'm so excited about this, and I'm super, super proud of you because I know this is... Um... It's hard. I kind of gave it away in the title of the video. I won the lottery and I lost it all. And while I did not uh, literally win the lottery, this was not clickbait. It's actually uh, something that we were talking about very recently with the Powerball and big money. And there were a lot of documentaries on TV talking about people who've won big money. And people were being very critical about lottery winners. Um, and then I'll throw into the same container pro athletes, musicians who have made or won a lot of money in their lives, people who have come into big windfalls and then lost it all, went bankrupt. And I was looking at those people getting criticized and thinking, that's kind of me too. I think it's easy to be a critic and say, well, I would never do that. But until you're in that situation, and it's all about the mindset. And if you are used to like, even right now, if you make 60,000 a year, and you're spending 65, you're no different than the pro athlete who's making a million a year and spending 1.2 million. So it's, it's just on a larger scale. And people get really critical of that. But so many of us are living way outside our means as right. we are today. So let me explain a little bit further like in detail. When I say that I've won the lottery, I have been very lucky a bunch of times in my life where I've come into large amounts of money, windfalls, um, through you know no work at all or very little work. And then I've also had very big paychecks that I've earned, but are probably in excess of what most people make in a year. So there have been many times in my life where I have made or won or you know fallen into large amounts of money. And I am a little bit embarrassed and ashamed to say that I, I don't have a lot to show for that because of old bad habits, not necessarily irresponsible habits where I was living far beyond my means, just old bad habits and bad mindset stuff where I have looking back, pushed money away from me because either I didn't feel deserving of it because I wasn't used to it because I grew up in poverty and I didn't have an understanding of how money works. And also because I had a deep prejudice against rich people thinking that rich people were evil or money was the root of all evil. And, and I had all this stuff going on inside of me that kept me from being rich in my own life. And this is something that I really want to end. This is something that I want to move past in 2016. It's been kind of like a dirty little secret of mine. And I knew you were the person to A, go to for compassionate advice and also to bring on to this video because you have something really cool going on that I've been a part of and I want you to tell everyone about it, um, especially those of you who might be struggling with this as well. This is something, obviously, you and I have been friends for a few years. And so we've had our ups and downs and we talk all the time. And I know for myself, my husband and I, a few years back, we had filed bankruptcy and then we started to make money again, but it felt like it felt like literally we were just as broke even when we had money again. And I thought, this is this is so bizarre. Like we're making more money, but we feel like we're just as broke or our bank accounts aren't growing. And it didn't make sense to me. And so I started searching out other money mentors and I found a bunch of different people, Danny Johnson and Dave Ramsey and Susie Orman. And, and my husband and I started to do this work on ourselves. And we found within a short amount of time, we were able to pay off all of our debt, stay debt free. And also just live a more abundant life. And it comes down to a lot of beliefs, like you said. I mean, I grew up thinking rich people are snotty or snobby, and we weren't one of them. And so, of course, you might say, oh, I wish I was rich or I wish I could win the lottery. But if deep down you believe that rich people are snotty or snobby, you're subconsciously going to repel that and push it away from you. And the other part is like that worthiness. I think a lot of it comes down to even just giving compliments. If somebody says, hey, you look pretty today. So many of us can't even receive compliments. So if somebody just handed you a wad of cash, you'd be like, oh, no, no, that's not mine. Like, I don't deserve that. And so we have to work on our mindset and we have to work on our habits. 
And so I'm doing something called Find the Money Project. And we did this in November. It was so much fun. The average household that did this with me found an extra $1,600 in the month of November. And not that's not their salaries. That's not their normal paychecks. That's an extra on top of everything they make. So we're doing it again in February. It's a lot of really um, easy, tactical things to find money that literally is already around you. You mentioned something about like stepping over money you already have. There are so many things where I, I could swear we were broke. And then when I learned to look at things different, I was like, wow, we have so much extra money. This is ridiculous. But it was just seeping out through these little holes. It's like these little money leaks. And I figured since I don't drive an expensive car, and since I don't carry an expensive handbag, and since I don't like shop at expensive stores, that I'm not being irresponsible, but I wasn't really being truly faithful with what I had. That's a really big key um, component, being faithful with what you have. And that's another thing that I have been, you know, I have gratitude in my life and I talk about it a lot, but I wasn't um, really honoring what I had it with respect and truly being appreciative and understanding that I did have an abundant life, even when I was feeling like I didn't have enough. I'm always coming from this place where I don't have enough or worrying about where, you know, the next amount of money is coming from or worrying about what the future is going to be. and I was kind of manifesting this poverty in my life that wasn't reality. So I would want to get past that too. And and even saying this stuff right now is really hard for me. I feel very vulnerable in this moment because I am a person who does have a lot of control in my life and I have overcome a lot of things. And this is something that I'm still struggling with on a daily basis, but I wish not to. And I haven't been able to um, find the right help. And since I've been working with you just you know, implementing a couple of the tips. And I'm really excited to say this in one afternoon of using a couple of your couple of your bits of advice, I found an additional $500 in my budget on things that I was, um, I want to say wasting, I was wasting money on because I wasn't even using people might think that that's crazy. Like that's a crazy number, but I would urge any of you (laughs) to just go through and use a couple of these tips, you know, sign up for the find the money projects, use a couple of these things and you'll see like how abundant your life already is. And, uh, because I found it extra $500 a month. Like I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled that pays for tuition for my little girl's preschool. So it's translating to real life change. So I'm going to invite people and I have a link. (laughs) I have a link at the bottom of your screen and in the video description, go to bliss in your pocket dot com b l i s s bliss in your pocket dot com and there you'll be able to sign up for this free two week challenge that Danny is hosting. It is miraculous. There's already people in it that are rocking it. Um, they're having such a great time on top of saving money. It's a great uh, support system, and it's also a way to kind of make big change without feeling exposed or vulnerable or criticized or ashamed. I know a lot of you who watch me struggle with a lot of these themes. So this is a way to be able to make big change and be supported in a compassionate compassionate way. So I'm excited for that as well. I'm so excited to have all your people join this. Um, The reason I'm passionate about it is I know how much we struggled and we're stuck and I have a big message and I know you have a big message and there's so many things I want to get out to the world. And I think there's so many people that are trapped doing work that they don't like. They are going to jobs that are ruining their marriages and ruining their lives because they have to pay the bills. And I don't think that should be a reason to go to work or do a job. I think we are all here for a bigger reason. And so I'm super passionate about people having financial freedom so they can make better choices for their family so they can send their kids to the schools they want to go to so they can go on the vacations they deserve. And so this isn't about getting rich for everybody, but this is about having freedom and finding where you just have maybe been blind to to a little bit. So blissinyourpocket.com, click that link. Also comment below if you have a money story that you would like to share, if you have weird stuff around money or if you've been successful in finance in your life. This isn't, again, this isn't about becoming rich. This isn't about business. This is truly about finding freedom and ease in your everyday and to remove all of that weird stuff that we have surrounding money. I know I have a ton of it. 
to get rid of. And I'm slowly peeling back the layers and I'm super excited for a very abundant and prosperous 2016. And I hope that you guys come with me. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. We'll see you guys there. Bye.